Step four, we'll add furniture to our floor plan. Under architecture, you click on component and click on place a component. We can load various furniture by clicking on load family and then going to the furniture tab to get what we want to load. So let me say I want to load quite a few beds. I click on the bed I want to load into the project. I'll place uh, the beds at the positions I want the beds to be. You can download components from uh, different websites. An example of such websites can be Revit City. I want to move this wall a little bit up, so I click on move, uh, this join, and then I'll move this wall a little bit. You can use the tab CS to create elements. CS is a shortcut for create similar. You can also move components about by clicking on them and dragging them to position them exactly where you would like to position them. So this is basically how to uh, load in families. So I'm just going to uh, load in chairs and sofas. So we've created a floor plan and added furniture to the floor plan. So our presentation floor plan is almost done, but I just want to show you a trick to import images uh, to beautify the presentation plan. Uh, if you need to, instead of going to Photoshop to add them. On that insert, while you're on sheet and while nothing is activated, click on link images. If you have some uh, PDF files uh, that you've downloaded of images like uh, trees on plants and stuff like that on plants, you can easily use them in your presentation plan. Let's just say I need this. I click on open. It's going to import the image. So this is how you can import some Im images into the floor plan to make it more presentable. The these images are not actually on your floor plan. So even while you are working on your normal floor plans and positioning them on other sheets, they will not affect anything. They are just only on this uh, presentation plan sheet.